biracial and multiracial identity development is described as a process across the lifespan that is based on internal and external forces such as individual family structure, cultural knowledge, physical appearance, geographic location, peer culture, opportunities to, for exploration, socio-historical context, etc. Biracial identity development includes self-identification, a multiracial or biracial person is someone whose parents or ancestors are from different racial backgrounds. Over time, many terms have been used to describe those that have a multiracial background. Some of the terms used in the past are considered insulting and offensive. Mutt, mongrel, half-breed. These terms were given because a person was not recognized by one specific race. While multiracial identity development refers to the process of identity development of individuals who self-identify with multiple racial groups. Multiracial individuals are defined as those whose parents are of two or more distinct racial groups. Background. Racial identity development defines an individual's attitudes about self-identity and directly affects the individual's attitudes about other individuals both within their racial groups and others. Racial identity development often requires individuals to interact with concepts of inequality and racism that shape racial understandings in America. Research on biracial and multiracial identity development has been influenced by previous research on race. Most of this initial research is focused on black racial identity development, Cross 1971, and minority identity development, Martin and Atkinson 1983. Like other identities, mixed race people have not been easily accepted in the United States. Numerous laws and practices prohibited interracial sex, marriage, and therefore mixed race children. Below are some landmark moments in mixed race history. Miscegenation laws. Anti-miscegenation laws or miscegenation laws enforce racial segregation through marriage and intimate relationships by criminalizing interracial marriage. Certain communities also prohibit having sexual intercourse with a person of another race. As a result of the Supreme Court case Loving v. Virginia, these laws have since been changed in all United States. Interracial marriage is permitted. The last states to change these laws were South Carolina and Alabama. South Carolina made this change in 1998 and in 2000. Alabama became the last state in the United States to legalize interracial marriage. Biracial and multiracial categorization. One drop rule. The one drop rule 
is a historical, social, and legal principle of racial classification in the United States. The one drop ruler asserts that any person with one ancestor of African ancestry is considered to be black. This idea was influenced by the concept of white purity and concerns of those tainted with black ancestry passed as white in the United States deeply segregated South. At this time, classification as black rather than mulatto of mix became prevalent. The one drop rule was used as a way to make people of color, especially multiracial Americans feel even more inferior and confused and was put into effect in the 1920s. No other country in the world at the time had thought of or implemented such a discriminatory and specific rule on its citizens. The one drop rule in a way was taking the Jim Crow law to a new extreme level to make sure it stayed in power and was used as another extreme measure of social classification. Eventually, biracial and multiracial individuals challenged this assumption and created a new perspective on biracial identity and included the biracial option on the census. Hypodescent. The concept of hypodescent refers to the automatic assignment of children of a mixed union between different socioeconomic or ethnic groups to the group with the lower status. This is especially prevalent in the United States where the one drop rule is still upheld as whites were a historically dominant social group. People of mixed race and century would be categorized as the non-white race using this concept. Even in mixed race offspring with no white parent, the race's one drop rule places the non-black racial group as dominant so that the offspring is socially considered black. Phenotype, a way of classifying someone by looking at their physical appearances like facial features, skull shape, hair texture, etc., and choosing their race based on what they looked like. The U.S. Census Further information, multiracial, American, and demographics. Before 2000, United States Census respondents were only able to select one race when submitting census data. This means that the census contained no statistical information regarding particular racial mixes and their frequency in the United States before this time. Demographics. The population of biracial and multiracial people in the United States is growing. A comparison of data from the 2000 and 2010 United States Census indicates an overall population increase in individuals identifying with two or more races from 6.8 million people to 9 million people. U.S. Census data 2010. In examining specific race combinations, the data showed that people who reported white as well as black or African American, a population that grew by over 1 million people, increasing by 134%, and people who reported white as well as Asian, a population that grew by about three quarters of a million people, increasing by 87%. U.S. Census data 2010. In 2004, one in 40 persons in the United States self-identified as multiracial. And by the year 2050, it is projected that as many as one in five Americans will claim a multiracial background. 
and in turn a multiracial or biracial identity. Lee and Bean, 2004. There will be a link so that you can read the complete uh, information taken from Wikipedia. The one drop rule is talking about one drop of black blood. If you have one drop of black blood, it would, you would be identified as black. And so history lets us know that we all came from parents of melanated parents back in the Garden of Eden. So once you are born again and the Messiah and you have believed that Messiah died for you and his blood was shed for you, it's returning us back to understanding that we are all of the human race. And therefore, we all have the same kind of blood running in our veins. May the Creator bless you for taking time to hear what I have shared. That it will give some more understanding and others already know all of this. May y'all bless and keep you. And may you be filled with love for the people he created in his image, such as yourself. Hallelujah.